Hello guys, HBR here. Welcome to a new series we're going to be starting, which, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, is going to be a Let's Play. Um, simple reason is, there isn't loads going on in Adventure Quest Worlds at the moment, there isn't loads of content, and since I'm in lockdown again, I've got loads of free time available, so I thought it would be good fun to go through and play the whole game again. Uh, yeah, the plan is to play through the 13 Lords of Chaos and farm lots of cool stuff, I've got that written on a list on the side here. Um, we'll have, you know, we'll have, we'll add some sort of goals eventually, but right now I want to get through the story. I don't want a power level or anything. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. First episode, as you can see right now, we're just creating our character. Uh, we're going to go mage class just because, um, it's the best starter class. Uh, mainly just because it's number three skill, uh, has area of effect. So it's just super useful. Uh, but yeah, anyway, while we're just going through this, um, cheers for all the support on the channel. Obviously, we're at 1.2k at the moment, which is super cool. Uh, and the plan is to make, you know, roughly one or two episodes a week to start with, and then we'll see what happens after that. But yeah, as you can see right now, I'm just naming my character. Uh, we're going to go for foreshadow, like for shadow. I wanted to have like number foreshadow, but you can't start with a, le with a number, so we put an F before. So yeah, uh, character called foreshadow, and what we're doing is we're just skipping straight to the start. Uh, this is like the prologue. It was kind of laggy, actually, the cutscene. So, uh... I'll, uh, yeah, it was kind of kind of laggy, but yeah, it's a pretty pretty cool cutscene ultimately. Well, I'll, I'll probably just, um, speed it up. But yeah, while this while this cutscene is going, uh, we'll just talk about a couple more things. Obviously, like I don't want to say I'm ripping off other YouTubers who've made you know series like this because ultimately, you know, every you know, Let's Plays have been around for a while. Just some are more popular than others. You know, I don't expect this one to be massively popular, but it's just something fun for me to do. And you know, it, it's something that you guys can watch if you want to. Uh, you know, we'll be get obviously we'll be playing through Thirteen Lords of Chaos, and then after that, probably doing stuff like Blinding Light, Destiny, Dracaf's Armor, like a couple of those end game items that aren't too difficult to get. You know, we'll see how we'll we'll see where we get. Maybe we could you know get some pretty hard items, but the plan now is just to it's just to play through the story. Uh, as you can see now, we're just um, getting into the tutorial. Uh, I, I start the tutorial, obviously, I've been playing this game for 9 years, so I, so I sort of know what I'm doing. But yeah, we do start to play through the tutorial, what you see eventually is I do end up skipping it, just because it was a bit tedious, um, ultimately. So, you know, I do this quest, and then I think this is it. I maybe do the next room, and then skip ahead. But I mean, actually, this was quite cool, because I did get Venom Head, which is a cool, cool weapon. It does look nice. I rejected the other one because it was membership. You know, I don't know if I'm going to get membership or not. To start off with, no. Um, I do think once we've played through 13 Lords of Chaos, we might have to uh, invest in some adventure coins just so we can join the Legion. Uh, and, you know, maybe get a Nogath farming pet because it is Nogath's birthday at the moment. So the plan would be to get Nogath's birthday pet and then, you know, get some farming done, get some cool stuff. Uh, but yeah, you can see now I'm skipping the tutorial. Just, you know... You guys know how it is. I'm sure you've seen this tutorial many times. Uh, just checking out the shop quickly. Obviously, I haven't played the tutorial, so I'm not high enough level to get any of it. But some of it does look quite cool. Uh, it's quite cool to get an animated staff so early on. But yeah, no, I'm not going to be getting any of it. And yeah, then I'll just quickly skip here. To I relogged and went to buy house. But what I'm going to be doing is um, going to battle under B. Um, and the simple reason is, I, like I just said, I didn't want a power level. Um, and I wouldn't really consider this powering level because what I'm doing is um, I'm just quickly getting 50 bone dust basically because obviously you need 50 bone dust to get to Nolgath and there's a couple of things we have to do first before we can actually get to Nolgath but it would be nice you know 50 bone dust is super convenient but also you know it'll give us a couple of levels so we're not completely sitting there not doing very much damage so I think you know in farming this 50 bone dust we maybe get to like level 10 or so so it's nothing mental there's no like server boost going on right now i don't think so yeah nothing crazy but we're just doing it to get the bone dust but, you know you can see um you know mages it, it was sort of struggling for me until i hit rank three and then i got that number four skill and then as soon as i got that obviously i could hit multiple people which was just great made it so much quicker to get the rest of the bone dust you can see i was getting it pretty slowly and then the last 25 i just get basically instantly I, this is sped up to 500%, but yeah. <laughs> then we head back. We head back to buy house, um, and I think what we're going to do here actually is buy a house. Uh, we're just going to get the cottage. But the point is, obviously, when you're lagging a lot and when you're, you know, you want to quickly leave an area, the natural instinct is just to go to your house. 
Uh, and I don't particularly want to be teleported into buy house all the time, so we'll just get the cottage in it. It's a thousand gold. Why not? And there we go. Uh, so yeah, happy days. Oh look, we've even got we've even got a little cheer going. <laughs> First house. But anyway, yeah. And then what I do after this, as you can see here, is I quickly go through the Nogath res because obviously there's loads of non-member stuff. But in the end, I don't get any of it for now because it all costs quite a lot of gold, which I don't have. Uh, but I definitely think you know it'd be nice once we got a little bit, little bit more gold, perhaps to um, come back and get some of this stuff. Definitely, because yeah, there is some really nice stuff, especially for non-members. You can see I've got 200 ACs. Um, that's just from activating my account. You know, we'll save them and put them to use at some point. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's about it really. What we're doing now is we're just quickly um, getting some low-level enhancements, such as on the armor and the weapon. That's about all I can get at the moment, I think. Just so you know, we're not, we haven't got level 1 stuff. And you know, even the jump from level 1 to 9, you know, we'll be doing a little bit more damage. And going through these early quests just won't be as tedious. Uh, but yeah, straight into Portal Undead. Obviously massively nostalgic playing all of this. I thought there was a daily quest here which gave you Burn It Down. But I'm assuming there's other stuff you have to do first to unlock it. Because I couldn't find it. Uh, so we're just going to ignore that and go straight to um, defeating these fire mages. Uh, pretty simple. I think at this point I sort of forgot. There's like some combo with mage, I think. With your two and three, where you can deal more damage, which evidently I wasn't using at this point. Um, but yeah, no. Then I realised obviously it'd be quicker to do it in this room because there's two of them. But you can see like that three skills just is so convenient and helpful. Uh, and obviously, we have got five stuff dropped down. I'm doing all of this on AQ Light just because it's so much more convenient. Uh, quickly going on to settings here actually because I had a um, reaccept quest on, so yeah, we want to turn that off. And then I accepted fire, fire stuff, but obviously I'm just going to sell it straight away because, you know, I'm not planning on using it and it's just quick early gold. Um, obviously gold's pretty easy to get now, but I don't particularly, you know, it's really easy to get if you're like power leveling, you just get it on the side. But like I said, I don't want to, I don't really want to do that. So, you know, selling stuff like that's going to be way more convenient. But yeah, now obviously now we're into the next area, Swordhaven Undead. You guys know how the, you know, you know, you know these quests, I'm sure you've all played them multiple times. Um, so while we're doing this, a couple more things to talk about, you know. I don't know how long this is going to last, but like I said earlier, but I'd appreciate, you know, any ideas, any suggestions, you know, you just you just leave a comment uh, and let me know anything you want me to do. You know, if all of a sudden you all say, oh, get Necrotic Sword of Doom, like, sorry, it's not going to happen, <laughs> to be honest. Maybe the series does really well and it goes on for a while, but... The plan is to start with is to play through all the 13 Lords of Chaos. We'll get them out of the way and then we can move on to like farming stuff. Because, you know, a lot of farming, I don't want, basically, I don't want to farm stuff, then be massively over leveled for all these areas and then just play through the entire storyline at like level 80, uh, which is what I ended up doing on another account. And it just, it wasn't as fun. So I know it doesn't make a massive difference. It just speeds it up. But yeah, I just wanted to sort of get that natural, natural experience. Um, but also what we're going to do while we're playing through the stories, um, we'll try and get maybe like a Chaos Lord done an episode, maybe like a Chaos Lord every two episodes, because uh, I don't, I don't, you know, you guys have all done this, I don't want to spend loads of time going through it all, hence why I'm not doing any like live commentary or anything, I'm just commentating over it, but yeah, no, so we'll try and get through, you know, the 13 Lords of Chaos, hopefully maybe like but between 15 and, 15 and 20 episodes, uh, we'll see, and then after that, you know, we can farm some stuff, but the plan is to play through these while our server boost is active, just so um, we can get a reputation boost. And then hopefully we'll get some rank 10 classes. For example, I know Sansi, you get to rank 10 before you've even like completed the storyline. Same with Arkengrove, I think. So we'll be able to get some decent classes. You know, we'll have Shaman. Hopefully we'll have, um, you know, Master Ranger. Maybe a couple before that, we'll see. Um, so we're not going to be like, hopefully not still using Mage and like trying to defeat Drakath. Although we probably could, but anyway, um, you know, we'll, we'll try and get through it as quick as possible. And then I was going to say, you know, get a couple of juggernaut items, but ultimately I don't think any of them are that nice. So, but a couple of new, you know, a couple of cool new stuffs come out, especially like Evolve Worshipper and Nolgath. Although that is, it's reasonably difficult to get. Um, like not difficult. It's really easy if you've got the farming pets, but I won't have the farming pets. So, you know, it might be a little bit more tricky, uh, but you know, ho hopefully we can do it. I do have plans to farm. A decent amount of Nolgath stuff, for example, Void High Lord. I would like to get Void High Lord on. Vo uh, I can't talk. I would like to get Void High Lord on this account, uh, to be completely honest, because I didn't include it in my farming video I made. So, I you know I do want to get it. I do want to get it on the channel. Uh, but you know you can see here we just we complete the Sword Haven Undead area. 
I, I can't talk, guys. I'm a bit cracked. <laughs> We've just completed the Sword Haven on Dead Area. Uh, and now we're just going through doing these last quests before we get to the really epic cutscene, which you guys will know about. <laughs> Although... So, you know, it's to talk to the knights. They've all got the great puns. Um, and then kill these 12 skeletons. If you guys didn't realise, this is sped up. It's like 150%. So, because I didn't want to, like, skip actually defeating the monsters and doing stuff in between quests because then the video won't be very long and I feel like it'd just be a completion of me turning in quests so instead we made it a completion of me doing the quests and turning them in I don't know you know layout and stuff in, I'm sure is something that we'll be able to improve on over time uh, but yeah pretty cool pretty cool you can see already you know we're level 11 uh, mage rank 4 we just hit uh, you know we're getting through these guys you know decently quickly you know we're not doing incredible amounts of damage but it's enough to not feel slow. You know, we did a 200 crit there. Against these, like, 400 HP monsters, that's good enough. Uh, but, yeah, that's um, that's it for this place. And then you basically just go, you turn this quest in and then go and do the super cool cutscene in the King's Room. Uh, which it looks like we're going to be doing now. Uh, yeah, here we go. So, you know, <laughs> you guys have all seen this cutscene, I'm sure. Like me, many of your first experience of this cutscene was on, like, a really old system where it was incredibly laggy. I, me I remember... Fun story, and you guys can, uh, probably a lot of you can relate to this, but, excuse me, uh, a lot of you can probably relate to the fact that when I first watched this, it took like 15 minutes to get through because it was just, it was so laggy and it was running at like one frame per second because my computer couldn't handle any of it, but it's much quicker now, it was all running nice and smooth. Actually, you realise how great of a cutscene is, like how good the cutscene is when it all runs smooth? Because originally I'd hit this and I'd be like, oh god, like, you can't skip it, but this is, you know, this has got to be one of the greatest cutscenes in Adventure Quest Worlds. Oh, so many of these clips are in, for example, my YouTube intro. Um, our YouTube intro. But also, like, you know, I don't think you get much better than this. You can see there I picked evil. I wasn't really sure which one to pick, to be completely honest, but I don't think it makes a massive difference. You know, it's only 100,000 gold to switch. Uh, and 100,000 gold so easy to get in Adventure Quest Worlds nowadays. Uh, yeah. And then you got, you know, all this cool stuff. Drakath there, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get Drakath's armor, because I don't think it's too difficult to get. Obviously, you need Blinding Light of Destiny. Um, but I think that's about it. You need, like, 250 treasure chests and some unidentified 13s. But I don't think it's massively difficult. So I'm kind of hoping that we'll be able to get, a, like, a Spirit Orb boost and we'll be able to get Blinding Light of Destiny pretty easily. Um, but we'll see, you know, that'll be some point in the future. Uh, but yeah, just quickly getting through, just getting through this now. Well, we at? we're about 13 minutes, so yeah. I'm planning on making the episodes between 10 and 15 minutes, I reckon. You know, if that fits with the quests we're doing in the area we're doing. Obviously, if it doesn't fit, then we'll have to work our way around it. But, you know, I don't want to sit here talking at you guys for too long. Um, so if you want them a little bit shorter, just let me know. <laughs> like, I can't talk for 20 minutes straight about, like, watching over some gameplay. Unfortunately, I'm not that good, so, you know. Don't expect anything like that, but perhaps if this is a little bit too long, you know, just let me know and I can make it a bit shorter. You know, we, we did get through a lot in this episode, ultimately, because we did, like, the prologue as well and the character creation. Um, but, yeah, no, you can see here, just finishing up on everything. Uh, and that's going to be the end of the footage. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, you know, just leave a like, comment, uh, any suggestions, any improvements I could make. And, yeah, I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. You're